If you have been wondering about buying a home in retirement, when to buy a home in retirement, how to buy a home in retirement, what sort of mortgage payment you might want in retirement, or if you even want a mortgage payment or not in retirement, then you're in the right place. Hi, my name is Scott Hastings. I'm a loan officer based in Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, again, just want to talk to you uh, about a question that I get a lot, uh, and that is buying a home in retirement. So there's really probably th three major categories you need to think of uh, when it comes to uh, your retirement home, for lack of a better word. You know, really the first is timing. Then you also have to think about qualifying. And then you also want to think about your payment um, that you're comfortable with in retirement. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is timing. What a lot of people don't think about uh, is that when you retire, um, you no longer have a, an income. Uh, you don't have a job. So many times I'll have people say, uh, you know, I'm going to retire next month and I want to buy a house um, in North Carolina that's $800,000, for example. Shouldn't be a problem. I have great credit. I've been working for 30 years and I make, you know, whatever, $300,000 a year. Well, that's all great. But as soon as you retire, you make zero dollars. You're no longer working. Um, you most likely, if you're of retirement age, will begin drawing Social Security. Maybe you have a pension. So that would be your source of income. The job you had in the past doesn't matter anymore. Unfortunately, what could possibly happen is that you don't have enough income from Social Security and those other sources to qualify. You have all the money in the world. You could probably maybe even pay cash, but unless you are paying cash, it doesn't matter as far as getting a mortgage. So what I recommend many people do is first of all, to think about this plan for what you're going to do after your job is over and where you're going to live, if you're going to move and buy a different home. Um, you know, what many people do is buy a second home. So again, I'm in North Carolina. A lot of people are moving here. Um, you know, when you buy a second home, you can put as little as 10% down and qualify using your current job. Um, as long as you uh, make enough money to qualify for the mortgage that you have on your current home and the mortgage on the new home, plus, of course, whatever debts are in your credit report, that's no problem. Then you uh, just have a second home here in North Carolina. And um, when you retire, you move to that home, sell the former home, you know, do whatever you want. Um, a lot of times, though, maybe people, maybe people just don't have, for example, the 10 percent down uh, to buy the second home now. What do you do then? Well, uh, lots of people have, especially now, a lot of equity in their house. So what you could do is get a home equity line of credit on your primary home that you have now and use that for the down payment on the uh, second home, which will, again, become your home you retire to uh, after you retire. Um, and then there you go. You can come up with the down payment that way. Um, let's say, for example, that uh, you do wait until after retirement and you, uh, you now you need to talk about our second category, which is qualifying. Um, again, whatever uh, type of income you have is what you're going to use to qualify for. Now, this brings up another subject. If you have a 401k, and I've used this quite a few times over the last couple of months even, the guidelines say that you can um, use, now this is for a conventional loan, uh, distributions from your 401k as income, as long as those distributions will last for at, uh, three years at least. And it has to be in a 401k. It can't be in stocks or 
other things. It has to be a retirement type account. Um, so then now you have your Social Security. Uh, if you have a pension, your pension. And now you can basically name what your distribution is going to be. Um, as long as it, that amount will, again, the math works, so it lasts at least three years. Um, that's one way to do it. Um, another thing that people want to keep in uh, mind and bring up to me is they don't want a huge mortgage payment in retirement. Um, many times, let's say, for example, that uh, they bought this place they're going to retire to as a second home before they retire. And they have, you know, maybe a mortgage payment that's higher than they really want to have, uh, you know, for the rest of their um, retirement years. What <clears throat> many people do is when they sell their primary home, if they don't have enough left uh, from the sale of that home to pay cash for the home that they bought uh, here, for example, in North Carolina, um, they, but they have enough to make a very large payment, which would effectively bring the principal way down. You can do something called a recast. And I'll do another video on that as well. But basically what a recast is, is you make a very large payment. You have to request from your servicer that they recast the loan, which is recalculate what the mortgage payment is. And now your new mortgage payment will be based off of the remainder of the term on that loan um, based on the new uh, loan amount. So if you had a $400,000 loan, you put $200,000 down, they'll recast it, give you that lower mortgage payment on the new $200,000 balance. Um, and uh, another thing I was going to mention was what if you had, uh, well, let's just say, you are going to be retiring soon. You need to go ahead and use, uh, you need to go ahead and use your current job to qualify for this home that you're going to retire to. Um, but again, you want to uh, not have a huge mortgage payment. You have a lot of equity in your current home. What you could do is almost figure out what you want your mortgage payment to be. Let's just say, for example, you want a mortgage payment that will be based on, again, that $200,000 amount. You're buying, say, a $500,000 house. The home you live in now is your primary residence, has tons of equity in it. You could get a home equity line of credit off of your current primary house. Use that as a down payment on your $500,000 house that you want to retire to. So you'll be left with that $200,000 mortgage. Then when you sell your primary residence after you retire, you just pay off the home equity line of credit and you just have that uh, permanent mortgage that you had set up beforehand. So that's a lot of information I just went over. If you have any questions about qualifying for a home uh, to retire to, um, whether you can use um, you know, pension, social security, uh, how to use a home equity line of credit to buy a home, any of these techniques, please uh, reach out to me. My website is mortgagesbyscott.com. You can put any questions in the comments section below. Um, and if you like this content, please hit like and subscribe on the bell button so you'll be notified next time uh, a video comes out. Um, anyway, Scott Hastings, Mortgages by Scott. Thank you.